So I just want to say a few words very quickly in closing. I have a big data problem. It's nothing to do with big data, but it is a big problem. I've been religiously taking notes all day, ready for doing this feedback, and I deleted them during the final talk. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't been, able to, haven't been able to recover them. I did something really stupid, I think. So um, the good news is that means I won't speak for as long as I probably would have done, and we'll, well, well it's about 10 past, so we're supposed to be going up for drinks now anyway. But I do just want to, to say a few things. I've already said, it, it, this has been a symposium of a few firsts, so I've mentioned the bollocks one. We've had a Shakespeare quote, which I don't think we've had before. We've had vampires mentioned, which I don't think we've had before, so that's great. I think there are some more sort of serious takeaways from today. Um, and uh, these are just things that, that I kind of have been noting down as we've gone through, and they're the ones that I kind of remembered. So apologies, this is a very quick summary. But I think, firstly, we don't want to get hung up on the big word. It seems to me several of the speakers have said that. And I think still there is, well, there's the thing I talked about earlier, which is the confusion between big and open, but I'm less worried about that now, actually, and I accept some of what Max was saying in that space, which I think is quite interesting. But I think there is potential confusion between big data and data that happens to be big. And I don't think those two things are the same. And I think some of... You know, what, what some of the speakers have been talking about really is data that happens to be big rather than big data. I think the other thing is we don't want to focus exclusively on the technology or the infrastructure or whatever. I mean, a couple of speakers have said that's a, you know, that's very much a, a, a problem we can grapple with. I think the whole cultural change thing is much more interesting, and we've heard a couple of aspects of that. Again, Max's references to the kind of cultural inertia that has to be overcome in the public sector I thought was really interesting. Um, but we've also heard about the kind of cultural inertia around sharing of data and that kind of thing. So, I th And it, it seems to me that if universities, for example, were to start making significant use of big data in the area of learning analytics and so on, there would be similar um, cultural inertia to overcome. There would be similar concerns on both sides, from the provider side and the, and the kind of user side. So I think those are really interesting areas. Um, I think we need to develop a culture of being evidence-based. I mean, Rob referred, in, his, in the opening keynote, Rob referred to poor decisions being based on poor data, and I think we, you know, we need to get over that. We need to become more evidence-based and we need to understand that evidence. Um, we need to ask questions of our data that have efficiency or effectiveness implications. We need to be asking the right questions and we need to understand the kinds of questions we need to ask in order to understand the kinds of technologies that we need to be putting in place to help us answer those questions. And I'll come back again, and this has come up several times, we need to grow this pool of people who can undertake data analytics, perform data analytics, whether we call them data scientists, whether we call them knowledge engineers. But again, one more word of warning about potential confusion here. I think we've heard the label data scientist today referring to both people who understand how to do data analytics and to people who understand how to manage data in the long term, the kind of more curatorial aspects of data management and so on. And I think we need to be careful not to mix, not to use that label in a confusing way for what are really two quite different roles, it seems to me. Finally, I think, and I'm, I'm saying this really in terms of what universities need to think about, I think we need to look for opportunities to exploit near real-time data so I think there will be opportunities to do that. We need to think about the ways we open up our data and get access to our data and ensure access to our data. And it, again, I'm relieved to hear that open data is a key component of big data. I mean, they're different things, but I think there are, you know, Max made a good point there about the open data being a driver towards big data and analytics and so on. So with that, I'm going to wrap up. up. Those are kind of the takeaway messages from my point of view. I do just want to say a few thank yous. So can we just thank again all the speakers? I think it's been a great day of a wide range of talks.
we get into this horrible thing where we have to clap everyone, but um, let's do it anyway. Can we just say thank you to Sadie, who's at the back? Sadie, stand up a minute, because Sadie's done all the hard legwork in this meeting. So, um, can we say thanks to the guys doing the streaming, the guys at the venue, the guys who've looked after people doing the, all the presentations with the mics and putting the slides up and all that kind of thing. And then uh, three in a go to, to Lisa, who's looked after the um, web stream and so on, and to Joe and Mike, who've been running up and down with the, with the microphones. And finally then, uh, to you for being such a great audience. Thank you very much for coming. Can you please hand in your evaluation forms on the way out? They are useful to us. I mean, if you haven't had a chance to sit there and fill it in, either do that now or at least do it during the um, drinks reception. But please, preferably, can you hand them in on the way out because they do help us plan future meetings. Can you keep your badges, those of you that are coming to the drinks reception, can you keep your badges for the drinks reception? We'll collect them at the end of that. So drinks reception is upstairs. For those of you who are coming, I'll see you upstairs in the Dorchester Library. For the rest of you, thanks for coming. Goodbye.